Yeah, so the problem was just uh, I had some legs of the resistor touching. So, yeah, I figured since... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, it said stream finished on my screen. It's like, wait a second, we just started. That's not right. <laughs> That's coming through, right? You can hear it? So I figured since it wasn't that long since the last stream, um, I'd just jump on again. So there's a pitch sweep. And an LFO, so. So this is straight into the, um, into the audio fuse interface through a eighth inch to quarter inch adapter. Yeah, it is probably very similar to the Mattel. All I did was just go through here and like scrape all of the the points in between. Could have been better, but I found there was one spot. I think it was that one resistor that was sticking up before. I didn't trim that uh, that lead, and so they were touching. And yeah. So just a couple like long leads touching and then started working. I was actually getting a signal before, just super quiet. Cool. All right, now I can adjust the trims. I forget what I forget what the document said for that. Uh, I'll look into that right now. Um, <clears throat> all right, if all has gone well, connect the output to an amplifier or powered speaker, turn the VCA and volume trimmers all the way counterclockwise. OK. 
Okay. Um, should be able to hear the VCO. Um, no, I don't hear the VCO. I don't know about this. So yeah, I'm I'm glad that I didn't just stick this on the shelf. It was bugging me that I couldn't get it working, and I didn't want you guys to wait there. So there's a bunch of presets in the manual. Um, here. So first one is called Siren. So attack off. Um, Pitch between two and three. Sweep the bottom. Long decay. Short rate. And doesn't say sweep direction. So large bell resonating. UFO Wobbly Madness. Let's try that out. Okay. Next is a sort of drum. So synth drum is next. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's more of like a, a synth drum to me. Okay, this one's called Woody Thing. I don't know. This one is called glass. <laughs> okay, and that's it for the presets and there's a bunch of uh, blanks. So, Can a beginner assemble this? I think so. It took about four hours or so. It'd probably be faster if I wasn't uh, talking to chat. It was well documented. The only mistake I made was was one resistor that was a bit too long. It wasn't up against the board. And then when I adjusted that later on, I uh, I accidentally was touching some of the soldering points. So, I think there's still more potential for sounds in this. Oh, I touched something and it's... So yeah, this could be circuit bent as well, but there's just not any room for more pieces. Like, there's no room for more switches or pots to do that really. You can put in like um, thumbtacks on the side to like be contact points. It also has CV pitch, so. Let's hear this through some effects. Let's put on... Mm. Amplitude? Not sure how well this will work, but... I don't hear it because I'm not monitoring that same signal. There we go.
So yeah, I would recommend this this kit. It's pretty cool. Well documented, lots of interesting sounds you can make with it. A little limited, but uh, yeah. If you want to learn soldering, I think that's a good kit to uh, get started with. Maybe second kit, maybe not the first kit, because it's a lot of very small parts. But uh, other than that, yeah, pretty cool. So thank you again for watching. Thanks for coming back if you had uh, missed the first part. And uh, this time for real is the end. See you later.